Daily conversations. Transportations. Should we take a taxi or a bus to the mall? Let's take a bus. It's impossible to get a taxi during rush hour. Isn't that a bus stop over there? Yes. Oh, there's a bus now. We'll have to run to catch it. Oh no, we just missed it. No problem. There'll be a, another one in ten minutes. Your English is very good. Sorry, do you speak English? Yes. What can I help you with? Yes. Could you please show me where's the post office? It's that way. You go straight ahead, past three blocks, then turn left. You will see the post office right there. Thank you so much. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know how you feel. By the way, your English is very good. Thanks for your compliment. I've learned English for one year. Oh, good luck to you. Giving advice. Thanks for meeting with me during your lunch hour. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm happy to help. What's going on? Oh, you know the usual. Should I take this new job or do I stick with my current one? Well, I think it's time for change, don't you? They pay you late and you are unhappy. Do you really think so? I know so, and I've been listening to you complain for over a year now. Trust me, take the job. What do you have to lose? Shopping. Trying on clothes. Can I help you? Yes. How much is that skirt? It's forty dollars. Can I try it on? Yes. What size are you? I don't know. Okay. Try a size ten. The changing room is over there. Oh, it's too small. Do you have it in a bigger size? Yes. Here you are. Thank you. It fits me. How was it? I'll take it. At the flower shop. I need some flowers for my mom. It's her birthday. Very well. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty-five dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes, they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen. Splendid. Will there be anything else? No, the roses will be fine. I'm sure your mom will love them. Buying shoes. Pardon me. Could you help me? Of course. How can I help you? I am looking for a sneaker. What size do you wear? Eleven, please. Here, how do you like these shoes? It's pretty. Can I try it on? Of course. There is a chair to try there. At the pet store. Dad, can we take one of these puppies? I would love to have a puppy, but we can't take one home. We live in an apartment. A dog in an apartment is not a good idea. But Tom, my friend, has a dog, and he lives in an apartment. 
Yes, I know that many people have a dog in their apartment, but I think it's not a good idea for us. If we move to a house, can we have a dog? Yes, you can have a dog. You can also have a cat. I love animals too. But is there any animal we can take home today? I suppose we could take some fish in a bowl. Okay, let's choose some pretty ones from the fish tank over there. Okay, choose one of the small aquarium tanks from the shelf. And then we can go and buy you some fish. Great, thanks dad. Party. Inviting a friend to the party. Hey Jackson, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the beach with my girlfriend. But she will have... she'll be busy that day. We are putting together a birthday party for Lisa. Oh, that sounds fun. Where will it be? We thought it would be fun to have a pool party at Leon's house. Oh, good. Can I bring anything? We will be providing hot dogs, soda, pizza, and cake, but people can bring side dishes. I'm assuming that the dress is casual. Dress casually and bring your bathing suit. Wonderful. Just message me the time and date and I'll be there. Decline an invitation. Hey, Tom, do you have any plans for next Tuesday night? No, I do not. What's up? I want to invite you to a barbecue with us at Jane's house. Sally, Linda, Mark, Peter, Lisa, and some of Jane's friends will join in. It was a very crowded party. No, I'm sorry, but I won't participate. Why? Are you busy? No, I'm not. It's because I don't like noise. Oh, it's okay, Tom. Talking to a friend at the party. Hey, Kelly. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good, thanks. And you? Yeah, I'm well. What have you been up to? I've been really busy, working hard. What about you? I've been busy too. I've also been working hard. Are you having a good time tonight? Yeah, it's good to have some fun. What about you? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. What are your plans for tonight? Not much. Stay here for a while and have some fun. I'll head home later. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I hope so. What about you? The same. Have some fun and head home later. Good one. Hope you have a good night. Cool, thanks. You too. Talk to you soon. What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. <laughs> I've been playing basketball since I was 10 years old. Do you like watching basketball or just playing it? I like watching it. Playing it is also fun. Do you have any memorable memories when playing basketball? Yes, I do. One of the most memorable basketball games uh, was when I was in high school. I won the game for my team for shooting a three-pointer at the last second. It was so great. Which team is your favorite? I don't have a favorite team. I just watch all the games. But you should have a favorite team, right? No. I like the Tigers a little because they won the championship last year. But they are not my favorite. Well, we are going to a Tigers game next week. If you want to come, let me know. We have an extra ticket. 
I'd love to go. That would be fun. Buying a movie ticket. Hi. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to buy two students' tickets for the Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Okay. What time do you want to see it? Six thirty. Sorry, all tickets are sold out. What about the other time? Let me check. Um, we have four seats available at five thirty and seven o'clock. Then can I have the two tickets at seven o'clock? Sure, no problem. Are you a student or an adult? A student. Do you have a student ID with you? Can I see it? Okay, sure. Here it is. That will be fifteen dollars. It's time to get up. Good morning, Tom. It's time to get up. Oh, is it seven o'clock already? I'm still sleepy. That's okay, dear. Are you hungry? Breakfast is ready. Yes, mom. I am so hungry. What is for breakfast today, mom? Breakfast is eggs, milk, and bread. Would you like something else to eat? I will prepare for you right now. That's enough. Thanks, mom. I'm on my way. It's a beautiful morning, son. Yes, it's a sunny day. Greeting. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. No problem. So, how have you been? I've been great. What about you? I've been good. I'm working for a financial company. Oh yes, how does your job go? Although I'm very good, I love this job. Good, lucky to you. Thank you very much. What time is it? What time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at seven thirty. Wow, so long. Well, it might finish by seven fifteen. Oh, really? Thank you. What's for lunch? What do you have for lunch, David? I have peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That sounds good. I have tuna pizza. Your tuna pizza is good too, Daniel. I like jelly. Do you want to trade? Sure. I like tuna pizza. This trade is good for both of us. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go to see a movie. Let's go to see a movie, Tom. That sounds great, Lisa. What do you want to see? Let's see something funny. Do you know of a good one? Yes, but let's pick one we both like. All right, we can look online. That's a great idea, Lisa. Ordering a meal. <laughs> Hello. I'll be your waiter today. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes. I'll have an orange juice, please. And I'll have a lemonade. Okay. Are you ready to order, or do you need a few minutes? I think we're ready. I'll have the mushroom soup to start, and the roast beef with mashed potatoes and peas. How do you want the beef? Rare, medium, or well done? Well done, please. 
And I'll just have the fish with potatoes and a salad. At the doctor's office. Hi. What's wrong? I feel unwell and keep vomiting all the time. How long have you felt like this? Nearly two days. It started just before going to bed the day before yesterday. Let me examine you. I will press on your stomach to see if it hurts, and then listen to your heart. Okay. It doesn't hurt when you press my stomach. I just feel tired. Okay. Did you eat something different from usual before you started to feel this way? Yes, I ate a lot of junk food and drank soft drinks the night before. You've got food poisoning. It's not very serious, and you should be better on another day. Oh dear! What should I do? You need to drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. If you are not better in forty-eight hours, come and see me again. Time for dinner. Mary, it's time for dinner. Okay, mommy, I'm on my way. Wow, that's amazing! It's all that I like. Oh dear, then let's eat deliciously. Yes, mommy. Mmm, yummy! I love your chicken, mom. What do you do? Hi, Mark. I want to introduce you to my friend Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, Lisa, what do you do? I'm an English teacher. How about you? What do you do? I work in a hospital. I'm a doctor. At the library. What can I help you with today? When does the library close? The library closes at six o'clock. Does it close at that time every day? Not always. Is the library open on Saturdays? Yes. What time do you open and close on Saturday? The hours are from nine a.m. to six thirty p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. What can I help you with today? I need to check out this book. Do you have your library card? I don't have one. Would you like to apply for one right now? That's fine. I'm going to need you to fill out this application. All right, all done. All right. Now please sign the back of the card. Okay, I've signed it. That's all there is to it. Great. Now can I check out this book? Long time no see. Well, hello there, Mary. Wow, it has been a long time no see. It is great to see you again, Linda. Hello, what a coincidence! I have not seen you in ages. It is great to see you. What are you doing in Manchester? Are you just visiting? I just got a new job in Manchester in finance. So I am shopping for some new clothes. Hey, what do you think of this skirt? Hmm. Well, you remember how much I love black. See, I've got the same skirt as you. <laughs> you always had a great taste in clothes. Well, this is a small world. We must keep in touch. Do you still have my mobile number? 
No, I lost my phone. Here is my new number. Okay, I will save your number. I have to go back to work. Give me a ring so we can arrange dinner sometime. For sure. Take care. Bye. Have a bad cold. Honey, you don't look so good. I think I have a terrible cold. Oh dear, do you know who you got it from? A lot of people in my office are sick. Maybe I picked it up there. Have you taken any medicine? I've taken vitamin C. I think I need some rest. Yes, go back to bed now. Drink much water too. I'll call your office to inform them that you can't go to work today. Okay, honey. Thanks. I'll make hot chicken soup. It's also a good cure for a cold. Actually, I'm not in the mood to eat right now, but I'll try. Talk about music. <laughs> What kind of music do you like? I like pop music. What about country music? Do you like to listen to country music? Yes, I do. What is your favorite country singer? I like Taylor Swift the most. Do you know her? Yes, of course. She's so beautiful and funny. Yeah, I listen to her music every day to relax. Can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I can. I can play piano, but just a little bit. Oh, great! I love the piano. Have you ever been to a concert? No, I haven't. Oh, you should try. It's very exciting. Really? I will. Do you listen to music while doing your homework? <laughs> no. I don't, but I usually sing while taking a bath. Well, I feel like I'm a real singer when in the bathroom. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you also feel like that? I feel my voice is more beautiful when I'm in there. Buying meat. <laughs> I would like to get some meat today. What kind do you need? I need about a pound of ground beef. The ground beef is two fifty four a pound. That sounds good. What else would you like? I also need three pounds of chicken breasts. The chicken breasts are three dollars and twenty five cents a pound. How much will the three pounds of chicken cost altogether? Altogether, it's going to be twelve dollars and twenty nine cents. That will be all right for me. All right, let me get your meat for you. Suggestion. <laughs> I'm bored. Why don't you read a book? Nah, I don't feel like reading. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Why don't we order pizza? That's a good idea. Let's do something tonight. How about seeing a movie? Sure. What movie do you want to see? I've got a headache. Why don't you take an aspirin and rest? Thanks, I will. Where should we meet? How about the coffee shop next door? It's too noisy. Let's go someplace quiet. I need some exercise. How about going for a walk with me? Sure, I'll get my shoes. That was a long day. I'm exhausted. Why don't you go to bed early? I can't. I still have work to do.
I'm broke. Why don't you borrow some money from your brother? I can't. He is broke too. Oceans or mountains? Why? Which do you like better, the ocean or the mountains? I like the mountains. Why? It's so quiet and fresh. That is the perfect place for me to relax. I could hear the birds singing, the whispers of the wind and the trees. Oh, really? I prefer the ocean. The mountains is so quiet, it makes me feel bored. I love diving to watch the corals. I like surfing. Or even lying down and relaxing with a cocktail and listening to the murmuring waves. Hmm. Anyway, go up to the mountain or into the sea, just have fun. I totally agree. Do you have any pets? Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, hi. I'm fine. Is this your dog? Yes, his name is Rocky. He looks very big. Yes, he's big, but he's very friendly. Do you want to pet him? Yes, as long as he won't bite me. No, he won't. He likes meeting new people. He is lovely, and his fur is so soft. Do you have any pets? No, my mother has a cat. Her name is Toby. Your dog is well trained. A bit. If I did not have him on a leash, he would chase the ducks. How long have you had him? I have had him since he was a puppy, and he is four years old now. Does he eat a lot? Yes, all the time. I need to go to the pet shop now and buy him more food. Would you like to come? They have lots of animals to see. Yes, that would be interesting. Let's go. Let's go to the beach. Andrew, are you going to watch television all day? No. Is there something you want to do? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We should do something outdoors. Okay. What should we do? Let's go to the beach. Okay. I'll grab the beach chairs and towels and swimsuits. Great! I'll pack some snacks and drinks. Don't forget the sunscreen. Where is it? It's in the bathroom cabinet. Is there anything else we need to bring? I'll bring the camera. I want to take pictures of the sunset. Good idea. The sunset is beautiful at the beach. Complaint about the noise. May I talk to you? Of course. What's the problem? Did you have a party Saturday? Yeah, I did. There was some of my friends came to my apartment. It was very loud. Oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was making a lot of noise. The noise made it difficult to sleep. I am so sorry if my party kept you up. It's all right, but next time, could you try not to be so loud, please? I'll make sure to do that for you. Thanks, I would appreciate it. Let me apologize again for the noise. Talk about the weather. Good morning. Morning. How are you today? Not so bad, thanks. You? I am good. Apart from all this rain, it's chucking down again. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? And it's very cold. The weather forecast said it will brighten up in the afternoon. They always say that. Still, I can't complain. It's a lot warmer than back home. Really? 
Where are you from? I'm from Russia. What's the weather like in Russia now? Freezing cold and snowing. Right. <laughs> so this must be like summer for you. Right. But I do like the snow sometimes. Cooking verbs. Two friends, Ali and Maxine, cook dinner together. Hey, how are you doing today? Guess you've got everything already? Hi, I'm good, thanks. And yes, we plan to cook dinner together. So what's the plan? Well, I have a great idea. We will cook a traditional American dinner. How do you like this plan? Wow, fantastic. Let's do this. I have prepared all the ingredients. We will make teriyaki beef, cream pasta with bacon, and roasted salmon for the main course. And for side dishes, how about the mashed potato, garlic bread, and chicken nuggets? Sure, that sounds nice. How do I make teriyaki beef? All it has is rice and teriyaki beef. That sounds easy, but how do I make it? First, you need to make some white rice. Then what do I do? Then you need to shred some beef and marinate it with teriyaki sauce. Then you cook it and eat it. Okay, I got it. And how do you plan on cooking the cream pasta? Do you want to make pasta? I got this new recipe for basic egg pasta and it's quite easy. Oh cool, but I forgot to buy flour. Don't worry, I brought e flour enough to make pasta for two. First, whip together the flour and salt with a fork in a mixing bowl. Crack the eggs into the middle of the bowl. Okay, shall I whisk the eggs? Yes, whisk until it starts forming a very soft dough. Then, gently folding the dough on itself, flattening and folding again, it will be extremely soft at first, then gradually start to firm up. Okay, it is firm enough to knead. Now begin kneading the dough. Slice into the dough with a paring knife. Flatten one piece of dough and feed it through the pasta roller. Okay, I feed it through a couple of times. It's smooth enough to cut now. Okay, we will switch to the noodle cutter and run the sheet of pasta through the cutter. And we have the fresh egg pasta homemade. Okay, now let's make the sauce. I will share my sauce making with you. First, you heat olive in a medium pan over medium heat. Chop garlic, then add into the pan and stir until fragrant, one to two minutes. Okay, shall I add butter? Yes, and stir constantly until melted. Then pour in chicken broth, then add pepper and salt. Okay, it's boiling. Shall I add the pasta? Yes, and stir heavy cream and parsley into the pasta. Then grate the Parmesan cheese and mix thoroughly. Okay, all done. Mmm. That smells good. Well done. Thanks. And our last main dish is grilled salmon. Okay, would you mind preheating the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, please? I will season the salmon with salt and pepper. Add some cheese and squeeze in a couple of drops of lemon juice. Okay, ready. Now place salmon skin side down. How long do I set the cooking timer? Grill until salmon is cooked through, about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, the main dishes are ready. Now let's move to the side dishes. Can you tell me how to do your famous delicious chicken nuggets? Oh, it's easy. I will season the chicken with garlic, salt, and pepper. Then coat it with flour. Then you prepare the breadcrumbs. I will season it with salt and pepper. Okay, then whisk the egg and water in a bowl. Then dip the chicken in the egg mixture, then breadcrumbs, gently pressing the crumbs into the chicken. Okay, the chicken is coated well. 
Then, heat the vegetable oil in a large frying pan over medium-high heat. Add the chicken pieces to the pan and fry until it turns brown on each side. Okay, done. Great. And the big secret is to sprinkle the nuggets with a little bit of salt while it is hot and serve. Ooh, that is very nice. Where did you get the recipe from? I have a cookbook. Please help me with the presentation of the dish. Here, take this plate and tissues. Lay the tissues on the plate and then put the nuggets on the plate. Please, pass me that tomato sauce bottle. It will enhance its taste. Good idea! Do you want to know its recipe? Of course! It's very tasty. It's also very cheap, easy, and fast to cook. I'm giving you a CD of this recipe. I hope that you will try it. Well, I shall try it on Sunday. And now we should finish our side dishes before we move to make dessert. Okay. Peel those potatoes, then place potatoes and water to cover in a large saucepan. Bring to a boil. Reduce heat. Cook until tender. Okay, what's next? Drain. Return to pan. Mash potatoes to, to desired consistency. Stir in. Add salt and heavy cream if you like it creamy. Yes. Can I add a little garlic? Sure. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, mashed potatoes are ready. Now for the garlic bread. Since the bread then dice the garlic into small pieces and mix it with butter and spread it on the bread. And place it in the oven and bake for five minutes. All done. So what should we do for dessert? Let's make chocolate brownies. I'm really good at this. But we don't have much time left to make brownies. What if I told you that you don't need to melt chocolate or chocolate chips? Just one bowl in five minutes bringing it all together to make the best brownies you've ever eaten. Really? Is that possible? Yes. The best part is they're only 144 calories each. Wow! Tell me how to do it. Every step is the same, but the one ingredient I add these brownies that is different from most recipes is a small amount of oil. Once you have all the ingredients, mix them all, then bake for 10 minutes. Okay, the dessert will be ready just in time. Great, I think everything is ready. Shall we sit? Yes, come on, let's eat. Oh, everything looks so good. Cooking is quite tiring, but it is so much fun. I learn a lot today. Let's do it again next week. Okay, we will try Asian food next time. Sure! Happy Mother's Day. For Mother's Day, Sending gifts is one way for you to show your gratitude to your mom. Watch this video to find out what kinds of gifts would be appropriate. Dialogue 1. Lara and Tim are siblings. For this year's Mother's Day, they plan to give their mother a card to thank her for being the best mother they can ask for. Hey Tim, Mother's Day is coming up. Have you thought of anything that we could buy for our mom? Oh, I totally forgot. Is it already May? Yes, it is. And Mother's Day is on the second Sunday of May, which is the ninth this year. I see. Maybe we should buy her flowers. I don't know. Flowers die out too fast. I'd rather buy her something that she could keep forever. What about a watch? She can wear it everywhere. A watch is nice, but good ones are too expensive. We don't have a lot of money to spare, Tim. You're right. A blouse, then? It is cheaper than a watch. Oh, come on. Mom has so many blouses already. I don't think she needs another one. Hmm. What about a card? 
I saw some beautiful ones at the store earlier. A card sounds good, but I think we should make it ourselves. Make it more personalized. Store-bought cards are too commercialized, don't you think? That's also a good idea. Let's go buy the supplies we need this afternoon. Okay. What do you plan to write on it? I'm not sure. Maybe a poem. I think that would be really sweet. That's so cringy. I think she would prefer a short message. Well, we can always write separate cards. Yes, that's also an option. Dialogue 2 Carlson and his son, Henry, make plans for this year's Mother's Day. Dad, what are we doing for this year's Mother's Day? Mother's Day? Is it here already? It's this Sunday, Dad. Did you forget? Um, yes, I totally did. I'm such a bad husband. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mom. She's going to be mad at you. Haha, <laughs> you're funny, Henry. Let's try to make a plan for it now, should we? Yes, I can help. Alright, what do you think Mom would like to do? Go shopping? She loves to buy new clothes. Heh, <laughs> true that. But let's think of something that we can all do together, okay? What about eating out? There's a new restaurant in town which my friends have been talking about a lot. Really? What dishes do they serve there? Mainly Italian, Dad. That's perfect! Italian cuisine is your mom's favorite. Do you think we need to make a reservation for it? Yes, Dad. It's pretty popular. Okay, I'll make one then. Do you want to buy her something as well? I've already made her a card, Dad. Do you think she would like it? She would love it, honey. As long as it's from you, she will appreciate it. Okay, then I don't think I need to buy other gifts. Sure. Do you think I should get her something? Like, flowers? The flowers are nice. Get her roses. She loved them the last time you brought them home. You're right. Can you please remind me to pick some up before our dinner on Sunday? All right, Dad. Dialogue 3. This year, everyone spends Mother's Day in quarantine. Myla asks her mom, Tess, if she could call her grandmother, Christine, to give her her best. Mommy, can I call Grandma Christine? Of course you can, but what for, honey? It is Mother's Day soon. I want to wish her the very best wishes. That's so sweet, baby. I was about to call her anyway. Do you want to join me? Yes, Mommy. Hello, Grandma. Hello to you too, my little baby. Where is your mother? She is right here, Grandma. Hi, Mom. Hello, darling. Why are you two calling me today? Mila, you want to tell Grandma why you wanted to call her? Yes. It's Mother's Day soon. I just wanted to wish you a lot of happiness and health. Aw, you're so sweet. Have you congratulated your mother as well? <laughs> yes, Grandma. We are having a girls' day together soon. That's cute, baby. Well, thank you very much for your wishes, and I hope we can meet soon. Me too, Grandma. Mom, I'm really sorry we cannot visit you this year. I will send a gift over there soon. Oh, no need, darling. I already have everything I need. Just have a great Mother's Day, okay? Enjoy yourself. Okay, Mom. Thank you. I love you. Love you too, Grandma. I love you both. See you soon. Dialogue 4. Jim is a really good cook. He wants to give his mother, Eva, some of the new strawberry jam he recently made for Mother's Day. 
He calls her before coming over to her house. Hi, son. Are you coming over today? Of course, Mom. I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's Mother's Day. Come, come. I just baked some bread, and I think you would love it. You shouldn't have, Mom. It's your day. You should enjoy it. Oh, you know I love baking. Well, if you made bread, I have some strawberry jam that I just made this morning. Would you like to have some of it? That would be amazing! I can brew some tea and we can enjoy afternoon tea together. Sounds good. I'm leaving my place right now and I will be there in about an hour. Sure. Drive safe, honey. Thank you, Mom. Do you need me to pick anything up on my way there? Hmm. Let me see. Maybe some butter would be good. I used all of mine for the bread. That's fine. Anything else, Mom? If you want to have a peanut butter jelly sandwich, get some peanut butter as well. I don't have it. If not, it's fine. Just some butter. I got it, Mom. Which grocery store do you recommend I visit? The one two blocks away from my house. It has cheap and good quality butter. All right. I'll head over there now. See you soon, Mom. See you, son. Love you lots. I love you too. What did you do yesterday? Dialogue 1. Leo and Kate have been dating for over a year. Their friend, Carrie, just recently found out about it. She sits down with Leo and Kate and asks them to tell her everything. Oh my god! Why didn't you guys tell me? I had to find out the news through Jack. We are very sorry, Carrie. We wanted to keep things private. But Jack saw us together when we were on a date last week. I understand. Well, are you going to tell me now? Of course. What do you want to know? First of all, when did you guys start being in a relationship? We started being in a relationship last year. Last year? That's a long time ago. Yes, time flies. We never expected to be so in love. Right, Kate? <laughs> yes. Leo came to the cafe I was working at, then... and the rest is history. You guys are so cheesy. I can't stand it. Oh, come on. Weren't you the one wanting us to be together from the start? Yes, and I'm starting to regret it now, though. Just kidding. I'm happy for you guys. Thanks, Carrie. We weren't sure how you would react to this news. What would I do? Stop hanging out with you guys? No way! <laughs> we love you. Dialogue 2 Tim and Hank are looking through Tim's family photos. They come across one where Tim is crying. Hank asks Tim what he thinks it was about. Tim, why were you crying in this picture? By the way, you look so young here. Duh, Hank, I was five years old then. And what did you expect me to look like? And I was crying because my dad tricked me. Tricked you how? I remember it was a school day. My dad woke me up really early. Uh-huh, go on. Well, I wanted to skip school that day, and my dad told me I could if I made the bed and got ready as fast as possible. Haha, <laughs> I see where this is going. Ugh, I finished everything super fast without any doubt. I made the bed, ate my breakfast, brushed my teeth, and washed my face. I even put on a beautiful outfit. And then... And then my dad said, <laughs> April Fools! I cried, and he took this picture at that moment. Your dad is such a funny guy. No, not to me. Dialogue 3. Johnny has a stomach ache. He goes to see his doctor, 
Damon. Damon asks him a few questions to figure out the reason for Johnny's pain. Hey, Damon, can you have a look at my stomach? It has been aching since yesterday. Hmm, what did you eat for dinner yesterday? Was it anything out of the ordinary? No, not that I know of. I just ate a hamburger. Maybe there was something wrong with that hamburger. What about drinks? Did you drink anything bad? I drank some alcohol last night, but that's normal for me. I always drink a glass of wine every other day. That still can upset your stomach, though. Your body may not be able to tolerate alcohol. Should we do some tests first? Yes, sure. The results not allergic to alcohol. How was your sleep last night? It was not so good. I slept really late because I had to work. I've been staying up late for a week now. I see. That is probably why you are feeling unwell. You need enough sleep for your organs to work normally. I know. What should I do then? You need to sleep earlier. That should help. If not, come see me again. Okay. Thank you, Damon. You're welcome. Dialogue 4. Jeremy just came back from Italy. He tells Molly, his colleague, about his adventures on holiday. Jeremy! Long time no see. How was your holiday? Hi, Molly. It was really great. Thank you for asking. I had so much food and went sightseeing a lot. Really? What was your favorite meal? My favorite meal was one I had the first night I was there. Pizza and wine. That seems delicious. Did you take many pictures? Unfortunately, no. But I filmed a lot using the video camera I bought before the trip. Can I see the footage sometime? I've never been to Italy before. Of course. Wait a minute. I'll send them to you. Thank you, Jeremy. By the way, you missed out on a few important meetings while you were gone. Oh no! What did I miss? One on a new project and one on new employees. I see. Thank you for informing me. I will see if I can find some information on them. No problem. I'm getting back to work now. Okay, talk to you later. Dialogue 5. After the weekend, Hannah goes back to school. Her deskmate, Tony, asks her about the activities during the weekend. Good morning, Hannah. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks, Tony. What about you? I'm good, too. My dad brought home a new dog yesterday. I'm still very excited. What about you? What did you do on your weekend, Hannah? Congratulations on your new dog, Tony. I also hung out with mine and took it out on a walk yesterday <laughs> afternoon. The rest of the day was nothing crazy, though. I just helped my mom cook and enjoyed dinner with my family. That sounds lovely. Did you do the homework for today? Yes, I finished it on Saturday. Do you want to compare the results? I wasn't sure about question three. Sure. That one took me some time to solve. I know, right? I asked my brother for help, but he couldn't solve it either. Here you go. Did you get 10 as the answer? Hmm. No. What did I do wrong? Maybe you skipped a step. Let me see. Oh yeah, you have to redo this part. Oh, I redid that part so many times already and I still got it wrong? It's okay. I can help you. I'm sure the teacher will explain it as well. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome, Hannah. What kinds of things do you like to do? Oh my gosh! Look who it is! 
How have you been, Ken? Well, if it isn't my old buddy Lily. I'm great, thanks. And you? So good. Hey man, what have you been up to? Go to work or not yet? I'm still studying photography. Sure, you're studying journalism, right? Can't be any more true, my friend. Haha. <laughs> You've been interested in writing like when you were a little girl. Absolutely true. Writing is my kind of thing, Ken. Besides writing, what else are you into? Hmm. Surely reading books is my cup of tea. People always call me a bookworm. Oh, bookworm girl, haha. <laughs> are you fond of something related to logic? Let me think a few minutes. What about you, Ken? I know you're really interested in photography. A hundred percent exactly. I've had this passion since I was a child. Oh, let me guess some other activities you like. Is that okay? You're welcome. Traveling, right? Yes, I'm an avid traveler. That is my second favorite activity after photography. Do you like traveling? I do. I often travel when I need to boost my mood to write. Lily, I have one question for you. Do you think I'm mad about playing logical games? I don't think so. <laughs> In my mind, you're known for being down to earth because you love photography. <laughs> I knew your answer in advance. Everyone said that, but actually, I really like playing logical games. Really? That's unbelievable, Ken. As for me, I wasn't gifted with a sense of calculating. Most people are surprised when I say that. Besides photography, I have a special liking for math, so I often play that game to relax. Sounds irrational, right? A little. To cheer me up, I usually listen to music. That is my kind of thing. I'm a big fan of K-pop. So, do you love collecting cards or albums? I always like that. Also, I'm fancy collecting stamps. Really? We have adorable activities in common. You like it? Collecting stamps? It's been a long time since I just knew a person who has the same hobby as me. Lily, are you free now? Mm. Yes. No hectic schedule today. What's up, Ken? I want to go out to take some photos with you to save the date we met each other. Cool. Let's have some mutual memories. Okay, let's go. Uh, hi, are you Jenny? Yes, I'm Jenny. Hi. Do I know you? I'm Dylan. I'm your brother's friend. Nice to meet you. Oh, you are that guy from work that Steve told me about. Nice to finally meet you. Come in. Steve will be home in 20 minutes. Thank you. Your house is so lovely. Thanks. Would you like some tea? Yes, please. Thank you so much. No problem. So, Dylan, do you play any sports? I love football and golf. I go to the golf court every weekend to practice. Oh, I play golf too. Can I come with you next week? I need to improve my golf game. Great. It's a date. <laughs> You're funny. Steve told me that you liked horse riding, right? That's so cool. Yes, 
My family owns a farm, so I had to learn how to ride a horse at a very young age. What about you? I'm pretty keen on reading. I'm not really an extrovert kind of girl. I just want to stay inside reading my novels. Oh, I'm definitely an extrovert. I like going out with friends and meeting new people. I go to clubs almost every night, and I also go to cooking class and dance class on the weekend. Oh, interesting. I prefer staying at home to going out. But I'm in a volunteer organization at my school. We organize events for children in our town once a month. That's great. Oh, I see a beautiful piano. Do you play the piano? Yes. Both me and Steve know how to play. I also like writing music, but I'm just starting to learn it. Wow, you are so talented. I would like to see one of your songs on the music chart one day. <laughs> Thanks. And I think Steve is home. Oh, hi, Steve. I was just talking to your sister about how amazing she is. Your friend Dylan here is such a good guy, too. Okay. But we have an appointment for a haircut at 4 p.m., so we have to go now. Okay, bye guys. And it was nice meeting you, Dylan. See you later, Jenny. Bye, Jen. Where are you from? Layla and Katie meet Tim on the way to the library. Layla shares her homesickness with Tim and Katie. What's up, Tim? Hi. Where are you going? I'm going to the library. I need to borrow some books. A new semester is coming. You're right. I'm so excited to meet my classmates again. And this must be your new roommate you've told me about. Oh, yes, this is. This is Layla. Layla, this is Tim. He's one of my close friends. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Layla. Layla, where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. Oh, really? My brother loves the Oklahoma City Hunters so much that he played truant twice to meet them. And then? My mom had to meet his teacher at school to talk about it. This team must be happy if they know they have a big fan like your brother, but no one encourages their fans to skip school to watch them. I know. This was totally my brother's fault. Now he's much better. And how about you? My house is here in New York. At least you don't have to experience homesickness. Do you? Yes, it's so bad. I miss my parents so much. My mom is in the hospital right now, but I can't go home to take care of her. Don't worry, Layla. You need to calm down and focus on studying. You tried so hard to pass the exam at this university. Don't forget the reason why you're here. Thank you for reminding me. I've been affected too much by homesickness that somehow I forgot my initial purpose. Actually, many people have experienced this feeling. I totally understand. When I was in high school, my studying results were low. But one time, I saw my mom so sad because I got just 25% for the final exam of biology. At that moment, I changed my mind and studied so hard to please my parents. And my mom broke into tears when she heard the news. I passed the exam for the top 10 universities of the USA. Wow, you're so amazing. We all know that our family members just wish the best for us. Hopefully, you can get used to the lifestyle in New York soon and keep getting good marks. If you need to know anything, I'm willing to help. Kim introduces her husband to her friends at a party. 
Kim's friends seem to be happy for her because Kim's husband is so nice. Hi guys! Long time no see. Hello my girl, I miss you so much. How long have I not seen you? Four years? No, five years. That's right. I used to be a naughty girl when I was in university. You were. Your parents worried for you so much. But I can't believe that you changed completely after your brother's car accident. My parents <laughs> were shocked when he was gone. <laughs> It was time I realized I needed to grow up and take responsibilities for my family. Then you got a scholarship and went to England. I even got married! Angela, Mia, this is Paul, my husband. He's from Manchester and we've been married for two years. Hello Paul, I'm Mia, Kim's ex-roommate. I'm sure you would have never loved her if you saw her old self. I know, I even hate myself during I studied in Texas. I was so selfish that I couldn't breathe properly any time I woke up. Don't be sad. Now you're different. You are beautiful and thoughtful. You deserve all of the best things in the world. Paul, oh, which part do you live in Manchester? My uncle used to live there for a year. I live in the mountainous area in the north of Manchester. It takes me four hours to go by train to Sheffield. Oh, my uncle lived in the southern part. I visited him once before he moved. Is there any cuisine in your city? Lancashire hot pot, I guess. I'm so proud of it. And Paul cooks it so well. What? I've been addicted to it recently. I didn't know it comes from Manchester. It does. Kim, you're so lucky. Your husband knows how to cook. My boyfriend nearly ferned my house down last time when he was trying to boil eggs. <laughs> what? Are you serious? I intended to say goodbye, but he promised to not let it happen again. And he's registered for a cooking course for beginners. I will see how he makes progress. Paul, have you visited many places in Texas? I haven't. We intend to visit some museums tomorrow. You should go to Alamo, the most significant historical mon monument here. And you should also try Texan barbecues. It's more than delicious. Thank you. I still remember when I was homesick four years ago. He gave me a bunch of blue bonnet flowers. Although, he wrapped them so ugly. I was attached and agreed to be his girlfriend. I envy you, Kim. I don't know whether my boyfriend can boil eggs after that course. Sakura and Kate share a studio apartment, but they have never met each other before. They talk to each other a lot on the first day they meet. Hello, you must be Kate. I am, and you are Sakura, right? Yes, nice to meet you. Are you tired after a long flight from Japan to America? Not really. I slept most of the time I was on the plane. I brought some chips for you. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? I live on the outskirts of Michigan. The chips are made for my grandmom. She loves cooking. Really? My mom never asks me to go into the kitchen. She knows I will burn everything inside. But you'd better cook at home instead of eating outside. It is quite expensive in Washington. Oh, I'm afraid of it. Instant noodles are my first choice. Come on, I'll help you, don't worry. So, 
Tell me more about your hometown. I was born in Kyoto. It used to be the capital of Japan. My accent is quite heavy, so even if you're a master of Japanese, you need a lot of time to get used to it. Don't worry, I don't intend to learn Japanese. <laughs> And we are well known for sushi. I'm addicted to that dish. I don't know whether I can eat it when I live here. Ah, I know a restaurant on Island Street. The chef is Japanese. How about having our dinner tonight there? Bill on me. Wow, amazing! Thank you! Borrowing money. Situation 1. Finally, it's lunchtime. The canteen has cheesecake today. Really? That's my favorite dessert. Did any of you bring extra money? I only have enough to buy lunch for myself. Why? I think I left my wallet at home. Oh no! You're searching your backpack again. I did, it's not in there. What about your locker? The lock of it was broken yesterday. Yes, so I cleared all my stuff and brought it home with me. That's bad. I don't have enough extra money either. Doesn't your twin brother have class today? Charlie? Usually yes, but he caught a cold yesterday. He's at home now. Have you asked Monica? Yes, but she brought her own lunch, so she doesn't have any money either. I got my bank card, but there's no money left in my account. Can we buy a little more food than usual for her to eat? I'm afraid the money is not enough. Besides, Ellie has gym class this afternoon. She needs a full proper meal. Wait a minute! I have my card here! There's still some money left in my account. Oh my god, thank you! It's okay. Let's go. I'll withdraw some money f r o m you. Thanks, Leila. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Oh, I actually won't go to school tomorrow. It's my uncle's wedding, remember? Right. So is Monday okay? Okay. Situation 2 Jackson, hello. Hi, Mark. Uh, why did you want to meet me? Uh, this is a little awkward, but can you lend me some money? Uh, why so sudden? Well, do you remember the concert that I talked about last week? Yes! Wait, was it yesterday? You're correct. Did you have fun? Yes and no. It was amazing until I tried to catch a taxi to go home and realized that I lost my wallet. Oh no, that's horrible. So now I ran out of money and I don't even have my credit card. I came back to the venue to find it, but there were too many people. I see. It was a huge concert. I was just having too much fun. It must have fallen out of my bag. Really? Yes, I dropped it once and several things came out of it. I guess I forgot to pick up my wallet. You have to be more careful next time. I know. Have you reported this to the police? Yes, however, they said that it's going to take quite a long time to find it. I understand. But what about your salary? I won't get paid until next Thursday. Well then, in that case, I can't say no. Thank you so much, Jackson. How much do you need? Just a small amount to buy food and other basic necessities. It won't be too much. Alright, l I can handle that. You're my lifesaver. I promise I'll pay you back right when I get my paycheck. Don't worry about it. You can do that whenever it's convenient for you. Thanks again. No problem, Mark. When do you need the money? 
as soon as possible. And then I'll send some into your bank account by tonight. Is that fine? Perfect. Situation three. Hello, Uncle Ryan. It's great to meet you again. Hi, Jack. Long time no see. How have you been? I'm great. Work has been amazing lately. I just got promoted. Really? I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Well, I've been waiting for this family reunion to ask you something, since I don't want to talk on the phone. What is it? I'm thinking of buying a car. What kind? The newest edition of Volkswagen. Do you know that? Ah, yes, I heard the price was quite reasonable. Good choice. It was, but I still need to borrow some money because I don't have enough. Can you lend me some money? Why? I think you can afford it, not to mention your promotion. Yes, but I'm planning to invest in a project next month, so now there's only $25,000 left in my budget. How much is the car anyway? About $35,000. So I need $10,000 to be able to buy it. Wow, that's a huge amount of money. I know, at first I wanted to wait, but the new model was in blue and I like it a lot. I'm afraid that it might be sold out soon. I understand. Right now I don't have that much money in my account, but I think I'll ask my friend if he can lend me some. So you agree? Of course, but under one condition. Just tell me. Because I also have to borrow someone else's money. I need to know when exactly you will pay me back. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. You'll get the money back in exactly three months, I promise. Well, in that case, I hope you'll keep that promise. I definitely will. Alright, so we have a deal. I'll try to contact my friend as fast as possible. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for this. No problem. Your money will probably be transferred the day after tomorrow. That's great! Situation 4 Hey, John. Are you staying for football practice today? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I have to go home early to prepare for my mom's birthday. Oh, tell her I said happy birthday. I will, thank you. Have you talked to the coach yet? Yes, don't worry, he's fine with it. Wait, I got a message. Oh no. Are you okay? Who texted? My brother. Um, I might need to borrow some money. I don't have a lot. Is it urgent? Yes, it is. Something came up at work and he won't be able to buy a birthday cake on time. So he asked me to do it instead. Why didn't you ask your friend? He gets off work pretty late too. Check your wallet, you might still have enough money. I would be happy to lend you some, but I don't think I have enough to afford an entire cake. Let's see. Actually, I have enough, but only for a regular cake. Did you want to buy a different type? Yes, the premium one. We all agreed on that. I want it to be special. Um, I only have $20. Would that be enough? More than enough, actually. I only need to borrow 10 Great, here you are. Thank you, Ryder. You're the best. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Okay. Now you should go. The party won't prepare itself. <laughs> sure. Goodbye, writers. Bye, John. See you tomorrow in bio. Situation 5 Hey, Maria. Hi, Tom. What's up? I'm really hard up. Could you lend me a few dollars? My wallet is empty. Me too. I'm dead broke. 
not a nickel to my name. <sighs> there is an emptiness in my soul and also in my brain. Situation 6 Good morning. Welcome to the City Bank. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to open a bank account. Sure thing. What kind of account would you like to open? A savings account or a checking account? What's the difference? A checking account is designed to use for everyday transactions, yet the money in a savings account is meant to stay in the account and earn interest over time. I see. Actually, I want to apply for a credit card. That's why I need an account. Okay, then. You probably want a checking account. Well, thank you. I'd like that. Sure. We will have you fill out an application form, please. No problem. How much of a credit limit were you looking for? I would like a $10,000 spending limit. Alright, we will see what we can do. We might be able to get you one of our gold cards with a $10,000 spending limit. Wonderful. Will I also collect points when I use the card? Sure. With our gold card, you will get 10 reward points for every dollar spent. Perfect. I have filled out the form. Do you need anything else? You just need to deposit a minimum of $250 into your new checking account. Very well. Here you are. Thank you. Your account is set up now. And your credit card will be mailed to your address within 5 to 10 business days. Thank you for your help. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Makeup Leah helps Kate to wear makeup for the first date and supports her for not being confident. Hi Leah, I'm glad you're on time. Oh my goodness, I went from my home so early to avoid a traffic jam, but I couldn't. Luckily I'm not late. Please help me Leah. My face has too many pores and dark spots. I'm so scared Jack will leave me because of them. Oh, come on, my girl. I'm a professional for over four years. Your face is not that terrible. Hurry, hurry. I'm so excited now. Oh, my God. This is the first time I've seen you loving someone like this. Okay, this lady will help you. Love you, Leah. We need primer and foundation to cover all of your pores and dark spots. I choose A20 of MAC for primer and G02 for foundation of Too Cool for School. I need concealer for big dark spots on your face. Oh, there are more than I think. Do we break up because of them? <laughs> Oh no, Kate, don't cry. I'm sure Jack doesn't care about your appearance. What he really loves is your personality. You know, we can't be young forever. We will be old, looking uglier. What can't change even time goes by is our personality. You are so lovely, Kate. I wish I were able to be gentle and quiet as you. Oh, you don't know how being introverted's impeded me. Don't worry, your first date would be so romantic and wonderful. Trust me, you deserve the best things in the world. Thanks. <coughs> wow, it's nearly impossible to see my pores and dark spots. It's so magical. This is my job, to help people getting prettier. Now I apply powder to have a natural finish. Perfect! For eyes, we need mascara, eye primers, and eyeshadow. I feel like I'm the main character of Transformers. Haha, <laughs> you are.
A smoky tone is perfect for a square-shaped face. I will do my best to help your eyes look deeper and deeper. Oh, you're scaring me. Haha, <laughs> coward. And brown tone for your cheeks. My girl looks so different. Does Jack realize me? Haha, <laughs> let's see. If he loves you from bottom of his heart, he will. Leah, my lips are so dry, I can't help licking my lips. Oops! Stop! Stop! They are bleeding! I will take care of them from now on. You need to moisturize your lips immediately. How? I give you a lip balm as a gift. Just take it. This is Dior Glossy, one of the best sellers of this brand. Thank you. I realize I haven't taken care of myself properly for a long time. Don't worry, sweetheart. It's not too late. And now I will mix Ruby Woo and Glacier to have a suitable color tone for this concept. It's nearly done. Ta-da! Surprised? Unbelievable! You are indeed a magician. Hmm. I wish I could help you more. Okay. Let me help you trim your hair a bit. Tracy meets Rachel and Heidi at the entrance of a shopping mall. Rachel is disappointed because the color tone new lipstick collection was not as good as her expectation. Rachel, Heidi, long time no see. Hi, what are you doing? I'm collecting some stuff for my mom. Her birthday is coming up. Hello. Are you alright, Rachel? Of course not. What happened? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Come on, girl. Just tell me. Maybe I can help you. <sighs> Nothing serious. <laughs> she was so eager to buy the new lipstick collection of Dior in this season, but the texture and the color tone didn't meet her demands. It's not as easy as you say, Heidi. I was cheated. What? I've watched thousands of swatch videos of well-known beauty bloggers, and their reviews were so good. But when I tried on my lips, they were totally different. In the orange-red tone, I couldn't see orange, just red. Besides, the texture is too dry, while this brand introduces that moisturizing is the strength of the collection. That's it? I thought your boyfriend went to the hotel with another girl. Haha. <laughs> I thought you nearly dropped your chin on the floor when you heard I was cheating. Don't be upset, Rachel. Maybe this collection doesn't suit you. It may suit others. If I were you, I would send them feedback. Hopefully, they'll read and improve their next products. You know, I showed my bare face a whole day to wait for it. Oh, it must be a nightmare for a makeup lover like you. But everything sometimes isn't what we hope. Let's eat pizza. Bill's on me. <laughs> Katty asked Liz to fix her makeup after having an argument with her boyfriend. Liz, open the door for me, please. Wait for me a few seconds. Liz, help me, please. <laughs> of course I will help you. But you need to calm down first. Come in, Caddy. <laughs> I can't believe this matter is happening to me. What's your matter? I saw Alex kissing someone in a coffee shop. I went to their table and slapped that girl. Then the story began. 
I need to go to my grandmother's house in twenty minutes, but my makeup is faded from tears. Can you fix it? I don't dare to return to the beauty salon to fix it. It's expensive. Yes, I can. I will add some powder and concealer. Basically, your makeup is so nice that it's not affected much even though you cried so hard. But I need to apply blush again. It's gone. I thought he was so reliable. I know, you're shocked now. Just see how your mascara smudged. I can't imagine how hard you cried. Can you do it quickly? I need to go to her house soon. It's nearly done. Wait for me a few minutes. I don't have the brown-red tone you were applying from your lips. Is that okay to use cherry one? Whatever, Liz, as long as my grandmother doesn't realize I cried before I visited her. I'm not sure. It also depends on your behavior. You know, the old are sensitive. Job Interview John just graduated college. He is looking for a job. Julia, a recruiter from XYZ Company, invites him for an interview. Hello. You must be John, right? Thank you for coming to our company today. My name is Julia, and I will be interviewing you for the position of software developer at our company. Nice to meet you, Julia. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Of course. Did you have any trouble finding the office? Nope. The directions on the website were great. Good! Would you like some coffee or whatever before we begin? I'm okay, thank you. Should we start now? Of course. First of all, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Just a few sentences should be fine. Yeah, so my full name is John Smith. I recently graduated from ABC University with a bachelor's degree in computer science. While I was studying, I successfully built software to track deliveries from abroad. I did it with the help of two of my professors. It is my biggest achievement yet. You can have a look at it through the link I included in my resume. Right now, I am looking for a job that can provide me with the necessary tools to develop even more complicated applications. That is really impressive! May I ask, how did you find out about our company as well? I was referred to your company by an acquaintance, but I had already known about you before that. Your online presence is very strong. Thank you. Can you tell me why you are interested in working for us? I believe that your company has one of the strongest technical departments in our field of work. There are many predecessors that I can learn from if given the opportunity. Furthermore, the company culture of peers being supportive of each other is very appealing. You seem to have done a lot of research on our company. What can you do that differentiates you from other applicants? I noticed from your job description that you are looking for someone with a unique perspective. Given my background of multiple years living abroad, I believe I would be suitable for this job. Very interesting. Is there anything you dislike about this job or our company? Not much, but I do have to say the lack of an efficient communication channel is worrying. But I can definitely help with that too. I agree, that can be very useful. Tell me, how do you define success as a software developer? I think of software development as a lengthy process. A successful developer should not only be able to create useful applications, but also should be open to criticism and be able to adapt accordingly. I see. That's enough about the job. Should we start talking about your plans? Sure. How long do you think you will be able to work for us? As long as possible. If allowed, maybe even ten years. I can be very committed if I feel like I am rewarded accordingly to my contribution. Okay. 
Based on your resume, I think you are more than qualified for this position. What do you think about this? I personally don't think so. I agree that I have done harder tasks before, but I have never worked in a company setting with a scope such as yours. I still think I can earn a lot of knowledge from it. Right. I see that you interned for another tech company for a very long time. Why did you not continue working for this company? I actually really loved my previous job, but I do feel like I have outgrown it. My daily tasks were getting repetitive, therefore I could not grow my expertise much. How did it feel to leave? Do you regret it? No, not really. I do miss my old colleagues very much, but I enjoy good challenge and this one is definitely fitting. Furthermore, I believe that every opportunity is a valuable experience that I can learn from. Good mindset. What do you think about your old boss? Oh, Daniel? He is actually one of the best people I have ever worked with. I say with and not for because he never treated me as a subordinate. He always treats every employee the same way and listens to their wants and needs. That is very valuable. I am happy to inform you that our boss here is pretty much the same. That's really good to hear. Is there anything else that you want to know about me? Let me see... Oh, yes! I am missing some personal information. What high school did you attend? I don't see it here on your resume. Oh, I didn't include it because I studied high school abroad. It is located in Mexico, named X. I understand. By the way, are you married? I am asking this because you might have to move around a lot if you work for us. <laughs> Not yet. I am very flexible with my schedule. That's great! One last question. What do you usually do in your free time? I would describe myself as a very active person. I play all kinds of sports. For example, I like swimming a lot. I go swimming at least once every week. I also really enjoy playing basketball and golf. Really? Do you watch sports as well? Of course, as often as I can. Okay. I think I have all the information I need from you. Do you have any questions for us? Actually, yes. May I ask about salary? I don't think we have covered that. Well, we will have time to talk about it in detail if you get accepted. For now, however, I would say you can expect anywhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars a month. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you again for coming today. We will inform you of the result through email by the latest Friday. Amazing. Thank you. I hope we will be able to work together in the future. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Summer Activities Dialogue 1 Lisa meets her friend from high school, John, in a coffee shop, and they share with each other their plans for the upcoming summer before they go to college. Hey, Lisa. Long time no see. Oh, hi, John. What a surprise seeing you here. This coffee shop is near my house, so I like coming here to study. My friend recommended this cafe to me. So, how have you been doing? I'm fine. Do you have any plans this summer? Yes, I'm planning to take a trip to Indonesia by myself. That's amazing. Indonesia is a beautiful country with so many islands. I want to join a voluntary group to teach English to children in Jakarta. That's great! It's so much fun exploring a new country. And when I come back, I will look for a part-time job to pay for my university fees. Oh, great! Or you can apply to be an office assistant in your department. What is the job? Answering phones, scheduling appointments, and maintaining files. Thank you, I will consider it. And how about you? Do you have any plans before college? 
I'm thinking about taking a gap year to go to Africa. That's cool. What do you plan to do in Africa? African animals have had a rough go of it lately, and I want to volunteer to protect animals and help local communities. Wow, good luck! Thank you, I'm so excited. Dialogue 2 Two friends, Anne and Sophia, talk to each other about their upcoming summer holiday at the beach with their families. Oh, it's getting so hot lately. It's June. Summer is here. Do you go to the beach this summer? Yes, my family goes to Miami every year. How about you? Me too. This year we will go to Hawaii. Really? Besides swimming at the beach, what else do you do in Hawaii? I can pet a sea lion, learn to surf, and see massive humpback whales on Maui. That's so cool. How about other sights? I can learn to dance the hula and watch the planetarium shows, or go to the park and gardens. Wow, there are so many things to do in Miami, too. Do you go to the beach? Of course. Miami has so many great and gentle beaches and parks. I can learn how to surf, play with the sand toys, rent a bike, sunbathe, and kayak. What do you bring on your trip? I always bring sunscreen, sunglasses, a bathing suit, sandals, a hat, and other personal items. I plan to go sightseeing and hike, so I bring walking shoes, hiking pants, and other fun things to play at the beach. Like what? Like toys to play in the sand, goggles, snorkels, towel, an umbrella. That's a good idea. I will bring those with me this summer. Dialogue 3 Two friends, Miley and Nick, plan to go on a picnic. Hey, Nick. Oh, hi, Miley. What's up? The weather is nice. Do you want to go on a picnic with me tomorrow? A picnic? Sure, it's good getting fresh air. Where is it? By the lake. It's not far from here, and it's quiet and relaxing. Great. What should we bring to the picnic? First of all, a blanket, so we don't have to sit on the ground. A basket with plates and reusable plastic cups to reduce trash. I will bring a cooler. We should bring food that travels well, like sandwiches and sausages. Can you bring some lightweight serving bowls and baking dishes? Sure. Anything else? Some napkins, tea towels to lay down as placements, salt and pepper shakers, and serving utensils. Okay, we can go fishing, swimming, and kayaking. And make fire camps to roast marshmallows. Great, I'm so excited. Dialogue 4. Lily and Joanne talk about their last summer. Lily, long time no see. Hi, Joanne. It's good being back to school. How was your summer? It was good. I went to Florida to visit my grandmother. That's so cool. What did you do in Florida? I went to the Blue Springs State Park to swim, kayak, and paddle in its pale blue waters. And collected unique seashells on Sanibel Island. I didn't get to go on a vacation this summer, so I decided to take some classes. What classes did you take? I signed up for karate class, cooking class, and swimming class. That's great! How was it? Karate class helped me be stronger and learn to respect other people. I learned to cook Italian dishes and bake cakes in the cooking class. I took a piano class, too. I can play piano and sing a few songs. 
That's amazing. I can teach you how to swim, and can you teach me to play a song? Sure. Dialogue five. Two friends, Mike and Susan, talk about their favorite season. It's so hot today. I agree. It's so hot you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. I prefer summer over winter. I can't stand the cold weather. I think cold weather is more comfortable than this boiling hot weather. But in the summer, you can do so many fun activities. Like what? You can go to the beach, sunbathing, swimming, boating, water ski, go to the water parks, hiking, camping, barbecuing, eating ice cream, playing sports outside, gardening, bicycling, and go on a picnic. That's right. There are so many activities to do at the beach. Yes, you can surf, dive, windsurf, playing beach volleyball, snorkel, go on a canoe. Well, maybe summer is more fun. I will try to do it this summer. Dialogue six. Talk about summer weather. What is the weather like? How it affects my life. It's boiling hot today. I think this summer will be uncomfortable. I love to tan on holiday and come back looking sun-kissed. How about you? Do you like summer? Actually, no. We've predicted that summer temperatures will be hotter than normal. That's bad. I want to be enjoying the outdoors. And I just want to stay in my room with the AC on. Try and stay out of the sun at midday when it's the strongest. The hot weather makes me sweat a lot and exhausted. You can take a short break to go on a trip to avoid the heat. Luckily, August will be good weather for outdoor activities, although summer temperatures near or above normal. That's good. You can go to the beach and relax, or do some activities outside like camping or swimming. I will try to go out this summer. Hometown. So, John, where are you from? I guess my hometown is not too big. It's a little town in the countryside in Northampton. There are only 10,000 people there. So it is very quiet in my hometown. I do not really like it. Wow, there aren't very many people. No, it's very small. Is there anywhere to go in your town? There aren't very many businesses. There isn't a shopping mall. There are a lot of grocery stores. And there are a lot of gas stations. But there isn't much to do there. Oh, really? Are there any movie theaters? Well, there is one movie theater, so that's a nice thing to do. Is the movie theater good or bad? In fact, there are many screens in the theater. There are eight different movies showing. How about at night? What do you want to ask about? What's fun to do? How about at night? Is there very much nightlife? Yeah, there is not so much, but there is a bowling alley. It's fun to go bowling. <laughs> there is a bowling alley and a movie theater. Anything more to do? There is one restaurant where you can go for tacos and burritos. And there's one more restaurant for pizza and spaghetti. Um, that must be boring. But during the daytime, you can go to the park. What's inside the park? There's a river that goes through the town, 
So in the middle of town, there's a river. And there's a park that goes along both sides of the river. And at the park, there is a tennis court and a disc golf course. Disc golf? Yeah, I like to play disc golf with my friends. It's really fun. And after we finish playing disc golf, we usually go to the pizza restaurant. Oh, I see. How about schools? Are there very many schools? Let's see... No, there aren't very many. There's only one elementary school, one junior high school, and one high school. That's it. Interesting. Yeah, there aren't very many schools, but the town doesn't need more schools because there aren't very many people there. I see. Are there any mountains? No, the whole area is a very flat. There are no mountains, but there are a lot of trees. In fact, there are trees on my town's sign because my town is famous for all the trees on every street. Oh wow, sounds like a great city. So, Harley, as I understand, you live in Croatia. Where are you from? What do you like and dislike about your place? Yes, I live in Croatia, in a city named Pula. Where is the city, actually? It is situated in the Istrian Peninsula, and it's the biggest city in Istria. It counts a population of around 60,000. And do you like it? What I like about Pula is the fact that it's perfectly sized. It's not too big nor too small. And it has all of the civilization benefits as any Western European city. That's good though. For example, in the area of education and culture, there is a university, a theater, a cinema, a great number of galleries, museums, libraries. There are some historical sites and so on. Then, for example, in the health area, there is a hospital, a number of private clinics, dentist offices, ambulances and pharmacies, and so on. What about places for entertainment? There are places to go, such as restaurants, bars, exhibitions, concerts, especially in the summer during various festivals, sports, gastronomics, Musicals, dances, and theatrical events. Wow, that sounds interesting. Also, Pula is surrounded by the Adriatic Sea, so you can always go to the beach or to one of the many beaches to sunbathe or go fishing or sailing. Really? I really like living near the sea. If you prefer the land, you can take a field trip to the surrounding places and discover their natural and other attractions. Altogether, I really love living there. Okay, you only told me about your positive sides of living in Pula. What about your dislikes? Well, like any other place, there is no perfection. The downside is that we have a huge traffic problem, I would say, especially lately due to some construction projects. That sounds uncomfortable. So I recommend using public transportation whenever possible, or simply going on foot. Some people might say that Pula doesn't exactly have a wild nightlife, but I don't consider it a downside, rather a peaceful alternative to some other tourist destinations. So that's it. Would you prefer to live somewhere else? To be honest, I'm not kind of a city person, and I am quite fed up with the traffic jam in the city. So if I were to live somewhere else, it would have to be somewhere off the beaten track to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. That way, I can be closer to nature and soak up fresh air every morning. Most people in this world do not live in their hometowns. Why? Well, I guess the majority of people feel that there could be more opportunities outside of their hometowns, and consequently comfort zones. Therefore, many believe that living in such a comfortable place with relatives and friends can be distracting and too relaxing on the way of pursuing goals. They might go abroad as well, right? Yes, people, not only youth, strive to explore other places and experience different cultures across the globe. 
Which affects a person's personality more? The hometown of the current city? Why? Hometown defines how a person behaves, and the current city defines how a person wants to change. I think that the hometown has a much greater impact on a person than the current city. Okay. Thanks, Harley. Thank you. The Passive Voice Jaden is being interviewed by Jessica for the new post on the school website. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you here. How are you doing today? I'm great. What about you? I'm good too. Okay, Jaden. Let's start our talk today. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. My name is Jaden Thomas. I'm a student at Brook Hill High School. I was born in 2004 in Birmingham. In Birmingham? So why did you move to this city? Just because my house was built near our school, and it is also said to be one of the best schools in England. So, yeah, I moved here when I was six years old. What made you decide to choose this school? Firstly, I think I'm taken care of by all the college staff when I study here. That's great! Who is your best teacher in this school? Hmm, it's hard to choose the best, but I would say it is Mrs. Johnstone. Is she a chemistry teacher? Yeah, I have been learning a lot from her, and she's friendly as well. Last winter, I was invited to her Christmas party with her family. Wow, has she been told that you got the first prize? Not yet. I phoned her, but she didn't answer. I'm going to meet her tomorrow at school. Probably she will be so proud of you. I hope so. I think she expected a lot, and I didn't want to disappoint her as well. Okay, so let's talk about your study. How did you prepare for this competition? I'm lucky that I was given many useful books from teachers and students who already joined the test. So you were revising a lot for the preparation, weren't you? Yes, and I was tested every week by my teachers, so I knew what I needed to improve. You are hard working, though. Do you have any special suggestions to prepare for the exam? I think when I had to memorize something, I usually wrote songs about that. Wow! Can you sing or play musical instruments? I can play piano a little bit. The songs are kind of silly, but it made me feel less stressed when I studied. You must perform one day at school. I will try to practice more one day. Thank you. So, how did your parents feel when you won? You might think that they would be very excited. Yes, of course. You did so well. Yeah, but they only told me that I was just luckier than other students. Oh, really? That sounds strange. Yeah, they said that because my parents didn't want me to be overconfident. Did your family do anything to celebrate your win? Yeah, we are planning, but I guess we will do it on the weekend. What will you do for the celebration? Perhaps we will have a lovely dinner at a restaurant. Wow. So, what about you? How did you feel? <laughs> I'm really surprised. I just wanted to get the prize because it can be used when I apply to university. What are you going to study at university? I'm considering between material science and chemistry. Do you have any dream universities? Everyone wants to go to Cambridge.
So do I. But it is really difficult. But you are also excellent. Our school is so lucky to have you. No, I am so normal. I still need to try my best to get my dream university. Well, good luck to you. I hope I can have a talk again with you when you are accepted by Cambridge University. I wish that too. Thank you so much. Winship and Lewis just went back home after work and saw all the doors and windows of their house opened. What's that? What's going on? Did you forget to lock the door? No, you locked it. I even checked it twice. The windows on the second floor are opened as well. Did you see if anything disappeared? Not really. Let me check again. It's so strange. The flowers on the balcony were watered. Are you sure? No way the robber watered. You can come here to check. They are all wet, and some chairs were moved. Did you check your working space? Has your computer been stolen? No, I don't think there was a robber. So, someone came inside and just opened the doors and went out? That's ridiculous. What about the kitchen? It's so strange. All the dishes are cleaned. The chicken was baked and actually smells really good. Did we hire any housekeepers today? And then you forgot? I never call them on weekdays. And they told me they can't come this month as well. Maybe they changed the plan but you forgot? Let me check the phone. I haven't been told anything. I'm a bit scared now. What exactly happened here? Me too. Let's go around and check the house one more time. Okay. Have you found anything? I saw a suitcase here. Whose is it? Where did you see that? In the garage. It looks quite familiar. Is that the one our daughter received on her birthday last year? Is it? I don't remember. I think so. <gasps> what? Why are you here at the moment? Aren't you supposed to be at university? No, Mom. I was told by my tutor that I can go home early for this winter break. Why? Did you do something wrong? Nope. I just finished all the credits earlier. Why are you guys so surprised? We thought that there was a robber at the house. Oh, dear. It's just me. Why didn't you tell us? I was so scared. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you guys. It's too much for me, dear. Have you eaten anything? Nope. Have you seen the chicken baked? I was so hungry. Okay, let's go inside, baby. I will make something for you. Sure, Mom. Roommates Situation 1 Ted and Marshall are new roommates, and this is the first day they move in. They want to know each other to prepare to live in university life together. Hi, I'm Marshall. I guess I'm your new roommate. Hi, I'm Ted. Nice to meet you. I just unpacked my stuff. This is my side of the room, and that will be yours. Great. Nice to meet you, too. What is your major? I major in physics. 
How about you? I study law. I want to be an environmental lawyer. Where do you come from? I'm from Texas. That's pretty far from here. I'm from New Jersey. Cool. And anyway, I'll bring a TV, so if it's possible, can you bring a mini refrigerator? Okay. Do you have an idea of the kind of dorm decor you want? What is your style? I'm into funky retro style. I want to hang up posters of rock bands and some famous artists. I like rock music too. Do you want to coordinate dorm decor? Great. Decorate the room together will be so much fun. And what are your thoughts on chores? We will split the chores equally according to our study schedule. Most of my classes are in the morning, so I will do the chores at noon. Great, and when I get back at night, I'll do the rest. How do you feel about guests and socializing in the dorm? I have a girlfriend. If you're okay with it, she'll hang out in our room occasionally. Sure, I'm cool with that. Just tell me before she gets here. Thank you for understanding. Are you taking any extracurriculars or playing sports on campus? I'm currently in the environmental club. I am planning on joining the soccer team. Do you play soccer? Uh, I like watching football, but I don't play. What do you do in your spare time? Do you watch TV shows together? Sure, I want to apply for a part-time job in my spare time. It'd be fun to go together. It's a good idea. It's a good opportunity to have more experiences. Are you planning on going home a lot? I only trot back to my parents' house for the holidays. I want to go home every weekend, so you can invite your friends over on the weekend. Great. And how do you like to study? I like listening to music when I study. Do you mind? I like studying in silence, but it's okay. We can schedule our study time differently, or I can go to the university library. Okay. And what are you planning to do over summer break? I don't have any plan yet. How about you? I will go to the beach uh, to my friend's party. You can come with me if you want. That sounds fun. We need to relax after this semester. That's right. We'll have so much fun living together. I'm so excited to start our university life together. Situation 2 Lucas comes back home from college, and his little brother, Mike, wants his advice on living with roommates. Hi, Lucas. Welcome home. I missed you. Hey, Mike. I missed you, too. Have you been good to Mom and Dad? Yes, I have, and I'm so excited for you to come home for this summer holiday. Tell me everything about your college life. Is it fun? Do you have a roommate? It's fun, but also tough. I have a roommate, but I don't like him. We have so much trouble living together. Really? Why? He is slobby and unorganized. We just can't get along. We have nothing in common. And his annoying behaviors are driving me crazy. How bad is he? For example, it's one thing to leave his shoes and socks on his bedroom floor. That is his own private space, after all. But don't be a slob in shared spaces like the kitchen or living room. That's so rude. Did you guys agree to share the house chores? Yes, but we agreed to pick up after yourself, and he still leaves dishes in the sink. Leaves dirty pots and pans on the stove. Doesn't put away leftovers. Do you guys share the bathroom? Yes, and he leaves his dirty clothes or towels in the bathroom. And toothpaste splatter in the sink or on the bathroom mirror all the time. I guess you guys fight a lot, right? Yes. He doesn't respect my schedule. 
I have an 8 a.m. class every day, but sometimes he comes home at 2 a.m. banging the door. Or sets up the alarm at 7 a.m., but never gets up to turn it off. I see. What are his personalities? He is needy. He depends on me for his social life, and even all his emotional support. If he doesn't have other people he can count on or any other ways to help himself, that can be exhausting and overwhelming for me. You can set up some limits to when you talk to him, and how long you will be around him. Trust me, you feel so much better. He is also an attention seeker. He will do anything for attention, including talking about me behind my back, sharing my personal information with others. You should let him know his behavior is causing a rift. Hopefully, he'll hear you out and reevaluate his actions. I hope so. Roommates can be lifelong friends, but they can be a nightmare. So what will you do when you go back to your dorm? People usually think moving rooms or changing roommates will be the magic solution to all their problems. But learning how to deal with situations you have with your roomie can benefit you your entire life. I think roommate problems are caused by miscommunications. And the problem can be solved just by sitting down with a neutral friend and talking things out. You are going to college next year? Remember, don't let yourself be a bad roommate and notice bad signs from your roomie soon. Should I share the dorm room with anyone or live alone? It's nice to have someone who can wake you when you sleep through your alarm or bring you soup when you're sick. They might introduce you to a different culture or new point of view. I may have a roommate who likes to do the same things as I do. But you may not have the privacy you're used to and may have to seek out places like the library to get it. If your roommate's habits, personality, or schedule are very different from yours, it can be hard to adjust to living together. That's true. So what should I do to live harmoniously with my roommate? Communicating often and openly is essential for any successful relationship. Make rules and respect them. For example, you guys agreed that if one of them is trying to study, the other won't blare music or will record TV shows to watch later. What if we don't agree on something? You'll both have to make some compromises. If you behave politely to your roommate, your roommate is likely to follow your lead. Thanks for your advice and good luck with your roommate. Thanks, I hope I can work it out. Greetings. Layla moved to the dormitory of her university. In her room, there are Anna, Amanda, and Kim living there before her. Hello, I'm Layla. Hello, Layla. My name is Amanda. This is Anna and Kim. Hello, nice to meet you. Which school year are you studying? I'm in the second year. How about you? We are the same. What is your major, Layla? I'm studying law. Wow, law is hard. Did you have any difficulties in the learning process? There are a few difficulties, but just hard work and careful research will overcome it. How about you guys? I study biology. Anna studies English, and Amanda studies science. Do you love studying here? Of course, I love English, but I'm not sure about these girls. At first, I regretted studying biology, but my teacher changed my mind. I also worried for you when I first met you. You nearly quit. You failed two subjects in the first semester, but you got three A-plus this semester. This is a tough experience. Luckily, I didn't give up. Thank God. You studying well now? Layla, do you have a boyfriend? I don't. I just don't care about it. 
I just want to get a scholarship from our university each semester to share the financial burden for my family. Wow, you must be diligent. I have to. I have no choice. I want to save up for my parents to bring up my brother. I intended to have a gap year to work so I could help them somehow. But my parents didn't agree, so I continued studying. Do you have any part-time jobs? If you need one, just tell me. I know some with high rates. Thank you. Now I work from home for a company based in California. The rate isn't bad. I'm quite independent with my parents. You are such a good girl, Layla. It's so lucky for any to marry you in the future. <laughs> oh, don't say that. I'm not perfect. I'm bad at cooking. You needn't care about it. Our dorm doesn't allow us to cook. Yeah, I know. Now let us help you put clothes into your wardrobe and arrange your bed. You don't have many things, so it doesn't take time. Thank you. You're so nice to me. Linda accidentally meets Christian, a hot TikToker on the street. They talk to each other and exchange numbers. Hello. Hello. Are you... are you Christ Christ on TikTok? I am. Just call me Christian. Wow! I can't believe to meet you here, on the street. Come on, I also have to move, right? Ah, uh, I mean you're so famous that I didn't think I could meet you easily. Oh, I'm not famous. I just do it for fun. You have nearly 15 million followers on this platform. And you say you are not famous? Indeed, I'm not. I'm a banker, and it's easy to feel stressed. Therefore, I just want to relax, and I choose to make a video on TikTok. Which bank are you working at? Marine Bank. Are you serious? I also work in this bank. Why haven't I seen you? Our company has many branches. Which branch do you work for? I work in the office on Thantha Street. And I work for the branch on Capital City Street. Actually, I intend to move to that office, because where I work is too far away from my house. I have to wake up so early each morning to prepare, but sometimes I'm still late. I get it. Our bosses are punctual. They hate working late and personal calls. You're right, but the allowance of this company is excellent, and I have no intention to work for other companies. Can I have your phone number? If you move to our branch, feel free to call me. I can't believe that my idol is asking for my phone number. Come on. I'm not a celebrity, and I won't. Just call me whenever you need me. Now I need to go. Bye. Luna introduces her boyfriend to her family. Her parents are quite happy when they meet Matthew. Mom, Dad, this is Matthew, my boyfriend. Hello, I'm Rachel, Luna's mom. This is Paul, her dad. Nice to meet you. My name is Paul. I have a small gift for you. Hopefully you like it. You're so thoughtful. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, just call me Matt. Okay, Matt. You must be hungry. This is the menu. Feel free to order what you like. I'm okay. Let Luna order. I'll follow her. Darling, just order. You seem to be thin recently. Mm, I have worked overtime for three weeks and I can't have dinner at home. I know you love your job, but you need to care about your health, too. Every time you go home, you look exhausted. Thank you, Papa. I will care more about myself. I will try my best to take care of her. 
You are so nice, Matt. Luna somehow is like a child. She needs someone mature to care for her. I know it may bother you. Oh, no, I love taking care of her. And she also cares for me. One time I forgot to bring lunch to the company, she ordered it for me. Wow, a baby girl grows up a bit. Mom, I'm 23 years old. I'm an adult now. But not your character. You need to grow more. I'll help her. She needs more time. I will also try my best, Mom. Dad. Now let's order! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.